everyone welcome back to another video in this video we are going to discuss about a digestive system human digestive system so let's get into the video so here these uh, parts of the digestive system mouth salivary glands esophagus pharynx small intestine and large intestine liver and gall bladder here you can see that the digestive system completes in five steps ingestion digestion absorption assimilation egestion introduction about the digestive system the digestive system is responsible for breakdown food into nutrients and eliminating waste it consists of several organs including the mouth esophagus as we discussed in the previous slide about the parts of the digestive system and this digestive system is also called as gastrointestinal here you can see gastrointestinal tra tract digestive tract and elementary canal which runs from the oral cavity pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine and to the anus and the accessory glands in the digestive system are the teeth tongue salivary glands liver gallbladder and pancreas the digestive system works in coordination with other systems so such as the nervous and the endocrine system to regulate the digestion and next the part first part of the digestive system mouth the mouth is the starting point of the digestive system and which ends with the anus here the accessory glands in the mouth salivary glands and teeth 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 helps in the breakdown of the food particles and saliva helps to mix the food particles and the saliva contains enzymes that begin the chemical digestion of the carbohydrates here you can see another part epiglottis flap of cartilage closes the trachea windpipe when swallowing food so here you can see in the image i have mentioned the image clearly see epiglottis it closes the windpipe when we are taking the food this is about the mouth and next esophagus before the esophagus we can find the pharynx there are three types of pharynx oropharynx nasopharynx laryngopharynx after that we can see the part esophagus the esophagus is a muscular tube that connects the mouth to the stomach it uses peristalsis process to move the food from the esophagus into the stomach the lower esophagus sphincter prevents stomach acid from the entering the esophagus this is about the esophagus here you can see the diagram the here you have to remember one word about esophagus is the peristalsis process stomach is a muscular sac that mixes and grinds food with gastric juice hydrochloric acid in the stomach helps in the breakdown of the proteins gastric juice contains hydrochloric acid and enzymes that further break down food stomach also regulate the release of food into the small intestine chyme is the mixture here you can see the chyme is the mixture of food and stomach secretes that is produced in the stomach the stomach also regulate the release of chyme into the small intestine chyme means mixture of food which is useful for our production of energy liver produces bile juice stored in gland gall bladder it also processes nutrients and detoxifies harmful substances in the body its main function is to convert the fats into 
fats in food into the fatty acids by the emulsification process the liver plays a role in regulating blood glucose level pancreas produces enzymes that break down carbohydrates proteins and fats it also produces the hormones such as insulin that regulate blood blood sugar levels the pancreas secretes enzymes into the small intestine gall bladder the gall bladder stones and release store and releases the bile produced by the liver bile is released into the small intestine to aid in the fat digestion gall stones can form in the gall bladder and causes the pain and digestive problems small intestine is the longest part of the digestive system it is where most of the nutrients from the food are absorbed into the blood stream enzymes from the pancreas and bile from the liver aid in the digestive and absorption of the fats it is divided into the three parts duodenum jejunum and ileum the large intestine absorbs the food water and electrolytes from the undigested food the large intestine divided into the cecum colon rectum and anus it also hosts beneficial bacteria that help to break down remaining food particles the large intestine ends in the rectum where the waste is stored before the elimination rectum stores the feces until it is ready to be eliminated the anus is the opening where the feces are eliminated the process of elimination called the defection conclusion the digestive system is essential for the breakdown and absorption of nutrients from the food it works in coordination with other systems to maintain homeostasis in the body a balanced and varied diet is crucial for the optimal digestive system functions thanks for watching if you like the video please do like share and subscribe to my channel once again thank you